Hi guys, this is Yasir, and in today's episode, I'll be discussing about another neurological disorder. Without being said, let's get started. The fourth neurological disorder in the list is cerebral hypoxia. To get related to the current concept, let us see what is hypoxia. Hypoxia is the reduced supply of oxygen. While cerebral hypoxia can be referred to as reduced in supply of oxygen to the brain. The physiological condition when the brain is completely deprived of oxygen is known as anoxia. Prolonged hypoxia results in neuronal cell death via apoptosis causing hypoxic brain injury. Hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy is a physiological condition caused by prolonged deprivation of adequate oxygen to the brain tissue which is a complication of cardiac arrest. Now let's see the types of cerebral hypoxia. First is diffuse cerebral hypoxia, second is focal cerebral ischemia, third is global cerebral ischemia and the fourth one is massive cerebral infarction. Now let's see diffuse cerebral hypoxia. It is a physiological condition in which reduced supply of blood oxygen causes mild to moderate reduction in brain function. Focal cerebral ischemia. It is the condition in which cerebral blood vessels become blocked by a clot. Many cases of stroke are due to the focal cerebral ischemia which is reduced supply of blood to the brain. Global cerebral ischemia. It is the condition in which severe reduction in blood flow to the widespread areas of the brain occurs in cases such as cardiac arrest. Massive cerebral infarction. It is the ischemic stroke caused by reduced blood flow depriving multiple brain areas of oxygen. Now let's see symptoms of cerebral hypoxia. First is mild symptoms include a reduction in the short term memory and the ability to learn difficult things. While continued hypoxia can lead to disruption of cognitive ability, reduced motor control and increased heart rate and blue coloring of the skin that is cyanosis. Eventually, continued hypoxia leads to a loss of consciousness, seizures, coma and even death. Coming to the treatment, the steps included are breathing assistance and oxygen, controlling the heart rate and the rhythm, controlling fluids, blood products or medications to raise blood pressure if it is low. If this video helped you out, don't forget to smash that like button. If you want more videos on e-study, hit that red subscribe button. This is Yasir and I am signing out. Thanks for watching.